Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is my SQL Shorts. Before saving JSON data, we must create a table with a column that is the JSON data type. As you can see in this query, we are creating a table named JSON underscore demo. This table has two columns. The first is ID, which is an auto incrementing integer, and it is also the primary key. Then we have info, which is specified as a JSON data type. After we create the table, we can take a look at its structure by running describe JSON underscore demo. This command will list information about the table. JSON is a textual representation of a data structure. As such, when inserting JSON into a JSON column, we can treat it just like any other string. In this query, we are inserting three rows into the database, and each row contains a basic JSON object that contains the name and age of a person. Notice that each JSON string is wrapped in single quotes. When we run the query select star from JSON demo, we see that in the results, the full JSON string is returned. There may be times when we want to return data extracted from a JSON object or filter results based on values in a JSON object. The simplest way to do this is with the JSON path operator. Look at the select clause. This says we want to get the name property from the root of the JSON object in the info column. When referencing a JSON tree this way, the dollar sign represents the JSON object's root. Looking at the where clause, we see we are using the same syntax to extract the age property and check if it's over 50. The results show the names of the two people in our data set who are over 50. I'll cover more methods of selecting or filtering JSON data in another video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we use during this video.